The pandemic has had a huge impact on would-be apprentices, with 72,000 fewer people in England alone starting an apprenticeship in 2021 compared to 2019. OpenReach is looking to help redress that by creating thousands of new jobs, including apprenticeships, and is aiming to make its workforce more diverse and inclusive. And the carry on climbing. Always reaching up. An apprenticeship is often seen as a first step on the career ladder. And at Open Reach, apprentices of all ages and from all backgrounds are given the skills and training to open up a world of opportunities. Looking up all the time, reaching up again up to the top steps. Apprentices like Connell, who's completed his training program and is now working as an engineer, helping to build and maintain the UK's communications network. I was working in a pub in my hometown when I found OpenReach. It's all about learning new skills and uh, gaining an extra qualification on top of working at the uh, same time. At the moment I've put forward to become a uh, jointer as well as a cabler. So with that I become multi-rolled, therefore increase my uh, contribution to the company and uh, also helps further my career. New talent is the lifeblood of any successful company and OpenReach is the biggest private sector employer of apprentices in the country. In fact, 100 field apprentices were employed every week during 2021 and OpenReach is committed to making its workforce more diverse. So nationally, 18% of those joining last year came from an ethnic minority background and the company is aiming for 20% of its trainee engineer recruits to be women by the end of 2025. Eloise was working in childcare before joining OpenReach. She's now an area manager and welcomes the company's drive to be more inclusive. I took on the fibre to the premises apprenticeship. Um, I've absolutely loved it, it's been hands-on. I came into it because I really wanted a career and I knew that there was opportunities out there and OpenReach really looked after you. There's lots of networks you can join, so the gender equality network, um, inclusion and diversity, neurodiversity, LGBT, and they all want to have your input and how you think the company should look in the future. Hi, this is Ritika from Control. Uh, there's a morning appointment in Alton. And I just... Ritika joined OpenReach as a customer service operations and planning apprentice and works in the service delivery division. She's been impressed by the range of roles open to new entrants. The training programme is exemplary, to say the least, right from dedicated trainers to a proper structure in the programme to, to kind of career opportunities you get at the end of it. Because OpenReach is such a massive organisation, for all of those who may have a doubt whether they want to go into a technical line, they could always explore options with other departments like the HR, marketing, management, finance, and see if you'd like to switch a career but continue to be with such a great organisation. And as OpenReach transforms the broadband network serving 25 million homes and businesses across the UK, it's also invested £25 million in building 11 regional training schools. We've invested significantly in our training capability and it's giving us a differentiator versus our competitors who are often reliant on third parties to deliver their networks and their service. For us it's crucial that we've got really well trained, really well equipped engineers who do a fantastic job because that will give us a competitive advantage, that will enable us to build the best network in the UK and therefore have our customers continue to stay on our network and for us to continue to be successful. So the CBT is the connection point for the fibre optic drop wire cable to be plugged into. It's not just telegraph poles you can scale. With full training and progression, your career can also reach new heights. And with the company looking to recruit thousands of new engineers again this year, OpenReach is keen to stress it's open to everyone.